We're live at the moment from New Ferry on the Wirral and uh, I'm joined here with Councillor Warren Ward. Uh, Warren, thanks for talking to us. How's things? Um, thank you very much. I think obviously, you know, it's, it's very much a building site at the moment. Um, what you can see here is the um, foundations of what was the building. We found the dance school, home and style, the co-op furniture place and, and fab for charity. Um, right now, Wilbur Council have control of the site. Merseyside Police have finished their investigation on this site and now we've been granted site ownership. Our officers are working over the weekend to make sure that this site is safe. Obviously, we're asking for our residents' cooperation during this time and it's really about trying to pull together that community spirit that's been here in New Ferry. For so long in New Ferry we've had a community which has been trying to best our role as councillors, as the local MP and as a community um, in general to make sure that we can make light of what has been a very dark situation for our community. And Warren, the people that were involved in here, the residents, um, where are they at the moment and, uh, and how are they? So I've been speaking to quite a number of residents over the past two weeks and those who have not had any insurance are being housed by Wilbury Council. We are asking those residents who do have insurance to contact their insurance companies where they'll be accommodated by the, the companies there. I mean, it's a very sad situation. You can see here, these houses, you've got, uh, you might be able to see the, the, the big gaping hole on the properties there. That was where one of the um, foundation units went right through the property. Um, it's just pure devastation. But in light of what's gone on here, the general community spirit has never been higher in Newbury. And it's so important that we continue to build on that over the next coming weeks. And is there any estimation, Warren, on how long it might be before things sort of even start to get back to normal businesses and what have you? Well, already, you know, three quarters of the high street is open to business, and this is two weeks on from the explosion. I think that's phenomenal work, and that's down and testament to uh, the cooperation with the emergency service and local authority. Obviously, we're going to try and get this location as open as quickly as possible. We're not focused on time scale, the sort of one make sure that it's safe for residents to go in. Already, in phases, residents are going into their properties to get out the valuables there. So we are moving forward quite quickly, as you can see here, but our priority is to ensure that people are safe and that residents are kept informed. And any, um, any advice to people? I mean, are you getting a lot of visitors sort of coming down to see the site? I mean, would you advise people to stay away until sort of, you know, further notice or...? I think what's important is that we give our officers the time and the patience during what is a very challenging role for them. They've got to balance making sure the site is structurally sound and safe for residents to go in. They've also got to balance the economic aspect. The port of this high street has been closed. Is issues of employment, is issues of business. My priority is to ensure that in any future process or project to do with this area, that residents and traders are playing a key role in the future of this high street. Warren, thank you for your time, and if you'd uh, sort of pass on our best to any of the residents that you speak to from all of us at We're All Radio. Thank you very much, We're All Radio, for coming down. Thanks for all your support.